Hey everyone, say hi to my new 3D printer. Uh, this is uh, the Anycubic Chiron and the reason why I got this one, the printing space is huge, it's 40 by 40 by 45, which is amazing for me because I used to have the CR10, the Creality CR10. That printer is, is, is great, I mean, I've been using it for like two years, but the only problem I had with it that it's small, it's like uh, 30 by 30 by 40, and those are by centimeters and so there are some uh, things that I like that I print like huge for my airplanes and so the CR10 was not the best choice for me and so at the moment I am printing the uh, this mold that's the it's a nose we we, we came up uh, with a new method I have a friend of mine he's an expert 3d like he, he built airplanes but he is really an expert and so he came up with an idea where we designed the model on AutoCAD or any software and then we can make a mold out of it and so maybe I can I can show you uh, how I will make the mold or finish the mold with it and here the, the filament roll is in the wrong position because it's supposed to be like like this but it was like it was in front of my screen and so I had to remove the holder somehow, like this here. I mean, it's not the best, but it's working. I mean, it's taking the filament very good in here. And so let's wait for the printer to finish printing, and then I will show you what I will do next. Oh no. Ah. Oh, what happened? So now I have the two pieces, first one, second piece, and this is the nose. And as you can see in the windows here, we have some work to do. I have to add some sparkle, some sanding, because we had uh, like two dimensions uh, picture, and it was really hard to construct, especially the windows because the windows are straight, especially the front two windows. They are not curved with the fuselage; they are really straight windows, except the one on the sides. And so my friend Ralph, he was, he really did his best and they look amazing. He got the exact shape and so, but, but he couldn't uh, avoid these because they're really hard to do. And so uh, we thought we can do some sparkle in here, some sanding. I'm sure we will get the correct shape. And so now the next step is to stick them together to form the upper section of the nose. Alright, so this is the mold. I did around two or three layers uh, sparkle, and then this layer is also sparkle, it's called Spachtel, but this is spray, and it makes very thin layer. And you can just use like 1000 or 800 grit sandpaper with water, it will make it super soft. And so it's still not really soft, but I will uh, maybe do a second layer and hopefully the mold will be ready for the wax.
250 grams per square meter carbon fiber and I will use two layers two layers are more than enough it should be less like one, one layer 250 and the second layer will be like I don't know 150 or just 100 grams uh, but I don't have uh, like one at the moment so I will use two of these and this should be uh, perfect Now usually when we make like molds or stuff like this, I mean if I'm not an expert but I've seen and I know that the two sections has to go together and before there is a cure so when you take the whole mold out you have the whole piece which is perfect but in my case here because uh, we will have to install like the landing gear and stuff inside with all the retracts and there are lights and so there are so many things and so it would make it so hard for us to do it and so uh, we, we make like the top section and the bottom we install everything inside and then we can just glue them together and it would be just very simple and Four hours. It will look so good. I have a good feeling about it. Some extra epoxy here. I can just send that later. Take it out. I could have avoided that if I have an air vacuum. Would be perfect, but I don't have all the tools. Uh, anyways, this is the simple way, and I mean it's it's completely fine. So this is now after only 12 hours. I should leave it for 24 hours, but. What I like to do when the when the epoxy is not strong, I like to cut the edges or the axes with uh, scissors. So because I I hate cutting carbon fiber, it's super dusty and it's super uh, toxic. So I like to cut everything before, and it's hard to do, but I think it's the best thing to do. Anyway, I'll cut the things out and so as usual I thought I was recording but um, I was talking to myself for like 10 minutes anyways I took it out of the mold and it's perfect super smooth and uh, I just have to uh, wash this layer out with water and then you can see the carbon fiber it's good fine I think I need to I'm not happy with these from the side is a triple seven I would say but um, there are some work I have to do in here all right so final result it's really good very light very strong I mean I think carbon fiber is the best best material I mean fiberglass also is great but uh, it's a bit heavier and carbon fiber is lighter and even more stronger here I'm uh, trying some stuff. This is like an inlet for the big EDFs. This is just one layer. This is one layer carbon fiber. It's very thin and still very strong. The remaining pieces I have to work on them. And I'm very happy, as I said at the beginning, that a big 3D printer is a time saver. It's so good because something like this you would need to make it in four sections. Here I managed to make it in two sections and it's perfect still I have to work on the nose maybe I I mean see those two bubbles they are not correct because it was really complicated to do it on the uh, three uh, like 3d software and so either I will add some I mean I already started add some sparkle here in the mold sand it until it gets the desired uh, shape 
and uh, or maybe I can just cut here some form to send it to make it, uh, look like the trouble seven nose but overall it's perfect so happy with it so I will leave the links for the 3D printer in the video description. Thanks again Banggood for sending me this uh, 3D printer. It's really, really good. I'm very happy with it. And so for my next project that I will start in winter, I don't know, like October or November, I think, uh, I will be using a lot of the same method with uh, making molds, carbon fiber. It's really good and it's so light. Uh, better than foam and you know blah 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 it's so much time and it's not it's not professional this is this is very good and uh, yeah stay tuned for more videos next week we have the RC car challenge it will be a great video stay tuned for that uh, subscribe and I want to say thank you to my Patreons for their enormous support thank you guys uh, they I mean all of this carbon fiber the material stuff I, I always uh, buy them from uh, Patreon savings and so I cannot thank you enough guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And so subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive a notification when I upload a video. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.